New noon today after 20 hours of police standoff in Auburn is over. Most people were learning can return to their homes now. News tonight means Jack Momid is live in Auburn with the latest. Hi, Jack. Hey, Brian, like you said, the standoff appears to be over right now. And as Auburn police said that they've reopened Park Avenue so that residents who have been displaced for the better part of a day can now go home. But Gillander Avenue, which is right here behind me, seems to still be closed, at least is what police tell us. But we did see a few cars drive down. Now, if we pan the camera over there, you can actually see what appears to be a house with a bunch of rubble there. And you could see some police and law enforcement officials taking photos. Looks like they're pulling stuff out of a car that appears to have its tires either punctured or slashed in some way. And it seems deflated. It seems like they're taking a lot of evidence there. Um, you could again see a lot of the cars that are driving through this road and you can see a lot of the area where the dirt seems to have turned up. But this all started about 2 p.m. in the afternoon yesterday when the police say they got a call from a man who said he had be been shot on Galander Avenue, which is where we're standing right now. When officers arrived, they found one shot was fired and had hit the vehicle of the person who called 911. Now police told us they do not believe the shooting was a random act and that the man inside the home and person who was shot at know each other. Police also told us they are familiar with the alleged shooter who they say is not allowed to possess firearms. They worked throughout the night to negotiate with the suspect inside. At one point, police say they did hear gunshots outside the home. Now, police said again that the suspect was taken into custody around 1030 in the afternoon. And as you can see, this is still a pretty active investigation and scene where police are taking evidence from what appears to be the home down that road. But we'll we'll hope to find out more as this investigation continues. Brian, Jack moment live for us in Auburn this noontime. Thanks, Jack.